Come in. baby that was in mommy's belly. Ew. Remember the baby that was in mommy's belly? This baby used to live in my tummy. She came out. Why is your tummy so big? Though? It's still big because it takes a while for it to go down. Yep. Probably like a few I months. I thought it would get little right away. Yep, it got a little bit smaller. Wow. But it's still going to take a I mean, the baby came out and here she is. Hey, Sprite, do you go over there with Henry real quick on his other side? You want to get your picture. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Uh, Sprite, look. One, two, three. Here, here we go. Ivy. Here, Henry. Go. Okay. Here we go. Everybody look this way. All right. Hands down. Yeah, one, two, look. Ivy. Ivy, look. Look, Ivy. Smile. I think I got, I think that last one was it. It's hard to get two to look one, one direction. I don't know if that's good enough or not. You may want to get another one, but it, uh, we stack them or something. But... Ivy, put your fingers cheese. down. She's got fingers up her nose. Here. Ivy, say cheese. Hey, look. Put your hand underneath and get some. It's two thirds of the way now, Jess. Okay, great. Look at Henry's having a turn. Look at your little sister. Yeah. Oh, oh, came by to see uh, Ben and Jess's baby. You want to tell them congratulations? Here. Baby Fern. How do you say the middle name? Eliana. 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 How big is your sister now? Chicken. Mm. Mm. Like this big. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's her name? What about long ways? Oh, yeah, she like one. This big long ways. This big sideways. Like 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 this big yeah. I mean, she just now, she came late last night. Oh. And she's she really little. She can't even talk. Oh. What's her name? Oh, goes the weasel. Fern Elyon. Oh, nice. What's her last name? Okay. Last night was a good night. Fern is a good eater. She's just having herself a little nap. She's passed all her tests and she's doing good. So we're gonna take off from here this afternoon and go home. I'm excited to have all six of us under one roof together. It's gonna be really special. Ben's sister Michelle brought us coffee yesterday and so good and we want another one so ben went out to grab us both a coffee and i'm just chilling here with the little one i started to call her ivy i don't know why i always do that like whatever the last newborn was you just want to call him that it's always a little period of adjusting to a new baby there she is she's just happy as a lark to see your little pretty face huh you know is it too bright oh big yawn they're so cute. She has had no issues with nursing, just latched right on. She's a champ, she's been doing so good. Okay, so I was thinking about some funny moments before I went into actual labor. 
let's see, it was Thursday, so two days before the due date, I was like, I am ready to have this baby. I feel like it's a big baby. It's just getting bigger as it stays in there longer. And so I took the push mower out and mowed the yard, front yard, backyard, and I thought for sure all that walking would do something. But nope. All it did was give me sore legs and show me how out of shape I was. Did not give me consistent contractions. So that was humorous. And I was like, oh lord, please don't let me go into labor in the next 24 hours because I have achy legs. <laughs> that would not be fun to be having contractions on top of workout pains. Thankfully nothing happened in the next 24 hours. I was able to recover. Took a little soak in an Epsom salt bath. Just soothe my aching muscles. Look at this little angel. Look at her. Baby girl. You are perfect. You are so beautiful. Whoa. Something that I always forget about is how rough those afterbirth cramps are until you start getting them. Even though I didn't get my epidural until like the very last hour before she was delivered, I feel like it was still so worth it because not only did it help with like pushing phase, I mean I still could feel like all the pressure and all that, but it took the pain out of it, like the back pain that I always have. But then what I was really excited about was not feeling all those afterbirth cramps because those things are awful and they get worse with each kid. So it was nice to not be able to feel that and to just be able to enjoy holding my baby. And then all that massaging that the nurse is doing your uterus, didn't feel it. It was nice. <laughs> so the epidural definitely worked. I was so thankful. Let me just tell you, those afterbirth cramps are no joke. I am on 800 milligrams of ibuprofen and probably about the same of Tylenol, and I still feel them. Thankfully, after 24 hours, they do start to taper off, so I am feeling a little bit better now. But yeah, that's rough stuff. I guess you don't typically get the postpartum cramping as much like with the first baby, so I don't remember feeling anything after Spurgeon's delivery. But after each baby, your uterus is just trying to shrink back down and sometimes it takes a little more effort. I remember after Henry's delivery, I was not prepared for those postpartum birth pains and that cramping, I was like, what in the world, what is this? It felt like going through labor all over again. And I was like, yeah, there's probably a twin in there that somebody didn't know about, you know? It's pretty brutal, pretty rough, but you know what? Wouldn't trade it for the world. There's nothing that compares to this. It's so, so worth it. We're so thankful. And I think having gone through a loss last year, it just makes you even more thankful and you don't want to take it for granted any season. We're so thankful for our baby girl. I'm about ready to go home. Got our bags packed. Tiny? Yeah. Oh. She's sleeping. She is sleeping. 
Why is Ivy, it's your little baby sister. Cause she was, why mm -hmm. she's tired. Oh, do you love her, Ivy? Mm -hmm. You're such a sweet sister. Oh, say bless you, baby. And to play, and to play, and play you. In the playroom? Oh, she wants to sleep in that bedroom? Mm -hmm.